good morning um, or afternoon whenever you're watching this it's morning here in southwest Florida um, I'm finally doing a thrift haul I've been wanting to do this for a long time I've been promising to do this and so um, I guess the purpose would be I'm not I'm not selling my stuff like just not there <laughs> promise myself I'm not gonna get there but the whatnot stuff looks pretty tempting sometimes anyway um, so let's talk about that right now. It'll scare my husband. We don't want to scare my husband. Okay, so um, I generally shop at the bins. That's my favorite thrift store. We have another um, thrift store that I like about three miles from my house. And of course, Habitat for Humanity. We have, we have all the great thrift stores here, but the bins is by far my favorite. It's four minutes from my house, so it's convenient. And I'm actually redoing a whole room in my house, um, our front screened porch, um, from the bins. So I'm trying to do everything from the bins. So if it's something I upcycle, whatever it is, it, it's generally from the bins. Anyway, so first up is this coastal lamp. Um, if you know me, you know that I don't do coastal. My mom was a coastal artist and it's just seriously not my thing. But so many people have sent me my mom's artwork through the years that I have dedicated my office space in my house to her coastal artwork. So this will fit in nicely. This Edison bulb came from another lamp that I bought at the bins. Um, I, it had wire baskets for like the lamp shades and so I wanted those but anyway um so it came with a few Edison lights and I just salvaged those and the baskets and I would show it to you but it's outside getting rusty crusty like we like things okay this here is um Revere wear and it came from this did not come from the bins um I'm trying to get I'm trying to look at my phone to see if I have y'all in the picture or if I have the stuff in the picture I'm talking to the teapot teapot I'm trying to see if I have you in the picture <laughs> oh, I'm so funny anyway um so it didn't have the little handle on it so I put one on it but I have to shorten the screw so um, I will do that with my rotary tool um, later in life and I'm just putting these things down here beside me on the floor so I can trip over them when we're done um, lately I've been obsessed with wooden boxes I don't know about y'all but um, they make some really great upcycles and I sell every one that I do so this is a jewelry box not all of them are jewelry boxes you know there's some just like you could upcycle a plain cigar box that you get at the bins for 50 cents and sell it for 20 or 25 dollars i do it on a regular basis okay so this is um my wood box that i'm working on i think i'm definitely gonna obviously paint it but um i think i'm gonna take the window out and then put it back in I look to see and it comes out fairly easily it's not like um, it doesn't have like a gasket or anything that's keeping it set, keeping it in it's just kind of screwed in there with some clips so I think I can do it all right now um, oh okay so I want to show you some things from Hobby Lobby Hobby Lobby is um, obviously a great space to buy what I call blanks where you just kind of treat them like they're a blank space just an empty thing take whatever's on there off and I fill it in with my own artwork after I paint it or do whatever I'm going to do to it so I have about 10 of these and these are going to actually have my artwork on them the next time you see them um, I tested to see how easily um, these things come off and basically I just used my Cricut tool here to pry those things off, those embellishments. And then I have a bucket full of what I took off 
so that I can put it away and never see it again. But actually, the embellishments on there were metal. So usually if they're chip wood, you might not be able to keep them in one piece as you take them off, but this is metal. So I think I'm going to make keychains out of these. So this is kind of a two for one project, which I love, you know, great way to save money. So there's that. Those are definitely gonna be something, something cute when I get them done. Okay, now. I mentioned that I am doing my porch, my screen porch that we just had renovated after Hurricane Ian. Got new floors, new ceiling, new roof. Um, it's all looking pretty good. But I'm gonna do a tour of that space as I get closer to being finished. In the meantime, most of the upcycles and DIYs I'm working on right now are for that space. So. This is something that goes out there in that space. This is, um, I'm doing like a French country, um, shabby chic. Uh, <laughs> it, it's just sort of a mashup. Everything I do basically is sort of a mashup because I just love so many things. I just like to combine what I like and what I love. And if it goes, it goes. Okay, so this was two pieces. This from um, This came from the bins. So um, glass there is $1.49 a pound. So this weighs, you know, a few pounds. So it was a few dollars. Um, generally, when I do the math on my uh, bins hauls, I generally pay under $2 an item. Um, I don't necessarily worry about the prices because after you upcycle something, if you paid a dollar or two for it, it would be normal for me to sell it for 30 or $40. So, um, and, and sometimes more. So honestly, you know, you get a lot of bang for your buck when you buy your supplies at the bins. Okay, so this basin and um, pitcher is actually going to be displayed on this little stool here. I got this from the bins as well. This is going to be, it still has the Goodwill price tag on it, but I know I paid a couple dollars for it at the bins. It's just a short stool. And that's going to go out in my, in my porch. It's actually going to go by my, I have a chase lounge out there and it's going to go, um, beside that, like a little end table type thing. Okay. Oh, more things from Hobby Lobby. Um, I buy these after every season. They are wonderful, again, to use as blanks. I have a certain picture of mine that I put on these. And when I run out, um, I'm always glad to see that Hobby Lobby has these on clearance just about at the end of every season. Um, these actually came from... Well, these were like in a laundry section. I don't know if y'all have experienced this at Hobby Lobby, but they've sort of changed the way they do their clearance items at mine, where they all used to be like in the back or on a specific aisle. Sometimes they're throughout the departments now. So you kind of have to walk around and um, find things. And I had been like totally like sleeping on um, the wedding section and the sewing section so I hadn't been um, looking back there but anyway those are good places to look if you are going to do um, clearance shopping at Hobby Lobby <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> purely have other things on my mind okay um, so I got these glasses at um, the bins I looked them up they're false graph, um, is that how you say it? Anyway, they're hand painted. I can't wait to do these um, on my table at Christmas time. We don't generally have company for Christmas. Uh, we're actually, I think, going away for Christmas this year. Um, but I am doing Christmas because the last two years I have not done Christmas. Um, I, well, I've done very abbreviated versions of Christmas. And if you know me, I'm like, all with the crazy Christmas stuff like I wanted everywhere so this year I'm going to be doing it I also found these um, and let me put my glasses on so I can see what I'm saying 
This is the Winterberry collection from um, Fall Scrap. I think I have to pick them all up at once, which is kind of annoying because they're taped together, which is not annoying because they actually did that at the bins and they don't always do that. Sometimes they don't bag your stuff for you at all and you just kind of have to throw it in and run because <laughs> there's always a line at my bins. Um, it's super busy in there. But I'm proud to say that, to my knowledge, they have not had to call the police in a couple weeks. So, I don't know. I, and I, that's not a very good um, advertisement for the bins. I'm sure it's not like that everywhere. And we have a great bins, and I guess that's why it happens. But um, there are literally like fist fights, fist fights that break up, that break out at our bins. Like, um, <laughs> it's kind of annoying. Anyway, I've had my phone stolen from there. It's, it's a fun place. Anyway, this is, yeah, this is false graph. Um, it's the Winterberry pattern. Um, I looked them up um, on all the places you look stuff up. And they actually are pretty popular. Good seller. Anyway, I'm not interested in selling them. I'm just going to keep them and we're going to eat Christmas dinner on them this year. Okay. So, also I have these little cutting boards. They were 75% off at Hobby Lobby. Um, my glasses off. Um, I got one, two, three, seven, nine of them. And I, I think I know what I'm going to put on them. I'm going to sand them down and give, give them a white face. But I'm, I'm going to keep the other parts yellow because that really works well with a little cow that I am drawing called, um, or that I already drew, called Daisy. I actually have a new art piece I'm working on. Um, I will show that to you in the next video. I'm not going to do that today. Uh, I'm just not far enough along in the process. Maybe I am. Maybe you would like to see like the starting of it, the beginning of it. But anyway, um, I will show that to you next time. I literally have not had time to actually sit down and do it. But soon, I'm going to actually be able to sit down and work on it. So I'm super excited because if you know and you're artistic, like it's really therapeutic just to sit down and relax with a piece of art and work on it. Anyway, I don't know what this is. Um, I feel like it's some sort of a trowel or something. Um, well, no, it is. That's what it is. But I... I got it at um, one of my favorite thrift stores for a dollar and I'm going to paint it out and probably put one of my old trucks on it but look it has a wood handle it's um I think it's old I mean it, it looks old anyway I thought it was um thought it was pretty cool so I love things like that just because um, I just think it's very like Americana. You can put Americana things on there and it just looks perfect. Okay, so this is like, the glass is broken. I, I did that, like I did not pick it up that way. I did that. But I feel like I like this artwork better and I think I'm gonna leave the artwork in it. It's like Raggedy Ann, um, old vintage toys, things like that. And that's what it says, old toys. So I don't think I'm gonna change anything about it except I'm, I'm gonna take the glass out because obviously it's broken. But I feel like I could like take it to Vintage Market Days just like that and somebody will buy it. I think it's kind of cute. Anyway, um, let me see what else I have here. I have something super exciting to show you um, at um, the end of the video. Something that I found at the bins that I never expected to find. And it was just sitting there, and it's like nobody else knew what it was, but I knew what it was the minute I saw it. Um, so I'm going to give you some clues uh, throughout this video about what it might be. Um, <clears throat> something we all have in our craft room, or want to have in our craft room. Um, I have an earlier version of it. So, that's your first clue. Um, sure that's very helpful um the dog barking in the back is well it's dixie and sully and they're playing outside and when i say playing outside i use that term like really loosely because sully is 11 and she has zero interest in playing 
that Dixie wants to play. So that they're they're duking it out about who actually gets to to you know dictate the terms of their friendship today. <laughs> we call them frenemies because they're they're really not friends. Anyway, um, so this is a, a mug rack that I got at the bins, and, and these are like these are hard to find nowadays like especially in the wild like I don't come across them very often but I do have one um, that I use to display mugs at our shows and people always want to buy it so I, I think I'm gonna obviously upcycle this one and um, sell it but I'm looking at how it's constructed and I feel like it would be super easy to make a few of these and it would give me a great excuse to first of all use some wood pieces I already have. I already have uh, plenty of these in different shapes and also it would give me an excuse to use my router like this here. I feel like could be replicated pretty easily and I, I don't use my router enough so I feel like um, that would be a good excuse to get my router out. And then I have lots of pegs like this so I feel like um, there's some mug trees coming up in a in a DIY so um, let's see oh I got these brushes at um, not the bins but one of my favorite other little haunts that I go to it's actually called SOS if you live in my area it's um, just about three miles from my house anyway it's these three I, I think they're shoe brushes like to polish your shoes. Do people still do that? I don't know. What I'm going to use it for, it even came with <laughs> some shoe polish, some um, dark brown shoe polish, which is um, interesting to me because I bought some dark brown leather recliners for our living room on Marketplace, and they each have just one little tiny worn spot at where your head rests, you know. Um, naturally I mean they would so but they are so beautiful and I only paid um, $50 for both of them I think that's how much I paid yeah okay yeah $50 for both of them so um, yeah so I'm gonna use this shoe polish I think to kind of revive that area I I've used like uh, different wax like um, best dang wax the Dixie Bell's best dang wax but I feel like it, it was a little sticky for what, what I was using it for. So I think I'm going to go ahead and use that instead. Anyway, I have some more stuff down here. Um, oh, I, I really am excited about this weird thing I'm going to show you. Like, you're going to not know why I'm excited about it. It doesn't seem exciting. But um, I bought a couple of these. Um, uh, what are these called? <laughs> neck roll pillows, is that what they're called? I think that's what they're called. Anyway, um, I have a super cool uh, makeover for these. And one of them is already started and almost finished, but I ran out of materials, so I can't finish it until, until the Amazon truck brings my materials. <laughs> you ever get in that position where you're like at Amazon's mercy for when you can finish a project? Um, I try not to like I don't order a lot of like supply stuff wait a minute I think I'm about to tell a lie um, and my husband will watch this video and he'll know it's a lie uh, I was gonna say I don't buy a lot of supplies from Amazon but that would be wrong I, I don't necessarily buy like um, what's it called like what's it called when you have canned food what's that called um, I can't think straight today like disposable things that's not the word but you know what I'm saying so I buy like molds and stamps and things like that that you know you use perpetually over and over and over again but I don't use things that you use once and then they're used okay so that's what I'm talking about there's a word for that and uh, I don't remember what it is um, and I say that a lot but don't worry about me I think I'm okay I think you know God gave me blonde hair for a very specific reason and me and him know what it is and now you might know too but you know just keep your comments to yourself I'm totally kidding I can take it I've heard every blonde joke that ever was okay so I got this purse it's just a nine west purse um, 
but it's denim and it's like super uh, durable, which I need in my life. Like I need things that are durable. I do not need things that um, I'm going to tear up. So and it's in pretty good shape. I just have to clean it. So I like it. Um, and I'll spray it with Scotch Guard so it will stay in good shape. Anyway, I, I've come to the point in my life where the only place I buy, um, the only place I buy purses are at shows for like a reward for all my hard work or at the bins. Not even Goodwill. Like, I don't even step in the Goodwill. The Goodwill is right next door to our bins and I rarely go in there. The prices are so crazy. Like, I'll pick up something that clearly came from the bargain, uh, the, the Dollar Tree, and you know it's not a dollar twenty-five at, at the Goodwill. It's like three ninety-nine. So I don't really appreciate that in my life. Anyway, um, so I bought this grapevine wreath. It's spring, and I just spilled eggs everywhere. But, but they're not they're not real eggs, so they didn't break. Um, I don't think I'm going to use it like this. I think it's a little too wild for me. It's it's definitely seen better days and I'm not even sure like I can put everything back where it goes. I think I'm honestly just going to disassemble it and use it um, in pieces. I do that a lot. I buy wreaths just to um, harvest all the stuff off of them and these kind of things I like to have available to use in library projects because I actually teach a class at the library once a month and I like to have those things available um, when I teach a library class because the cheaper we can get the materials, you know, the better projects we can make. Just plain and simple. Okay. Oh, so y'all saw me do a suitcase makeover. Um, was that my last video? Yeah, it was. My last video was a suitcase makeover and I've got several suitcases to make over right now and this is one of my favorite ones I've ever found. I think it's so just classic and vintage. It's dirty. It needs to be cleaned up. Um, it smells like, like grandma's closet type thing. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's time to give you another clue about what I found at the bins that um, you're going to be like astounded that I actually found this at the bins. Okay, so what did I tell you before? I have an earlier version of it. Oh, so I price checked it and it was $349 on Amazon. Um, and this is not the newest version of this particular product. So there's another clue um, anyway so moving on um, let me see what else I've found lately there's so many things around me I could go on forever but I think we're going to be done with this pretty soon because I actually have another video coming as well um, not just this video but um, I've actually done a project that I have filmed that I need to put up oh let me tell you something before we get into this next thing, let me just explain something to you. So, I'm just going to lean on the, this basket here. This makes me super comfortable. Um, <laughs> I am actually going backwards in my views right now because in order to be monetized on YouTube, you have to have so many watch hours within a year. And since I've been over a year now on YouTube, I'm actually going backwards so every time I don't post a video it takes the watch hours from my um, new my oldest video I hope that makes sense it makes sense like it, like I'm losing watch hours so I need y'all to help me like help me because I'm not gonna be able to be monetized if I don't reach the number of watch hours that I need I have subscribers so y'all have helped me out there so much thank you but keep watching my videos. Listen, I know, I know, I'm really hard to listen to. I get it. Like, I've watched them myself. So, just put it on mute. Like, you know, you won't hear all the ridiculous things I say, then it won't bother you. But you can still see the projects. So, anyway, um, that's what I'm asking y'all to do. 
So I got this basket at, uh, not at the bins, but I did get it at my other favorite thrift store, um, which I think I've told you was called SOS. And just the basket itself, what, you know, I love, like there's so many things you can do with a basket like this. Um, I see myself doing an upcycle on it, maybe putting it on my porch to store things. It was $10, but in the meantime, it was already storing things at the thrift store. And so they gave me everything in it for the price of the basket. And what's in it is kind of a, a crafting dream here. So what's in it is a bunch of wood pieces. It's totally full. Like I could like spend the next like few minutes just showing you what's in here. And maybe I will show you um, some things. Anyway, but these would be great platforms for what I was just showing you. Um, a coffee tree, uh, a coffee mug tree. Yes, I think that's the way you say it. Anyway, um, so there's just a lot of stuff in here. Let me show you. Oh, here's some some wood beads. Like that. Oh, look. Here are my... Oh, where'd they go? I just have them in my hand. Oh, well, I'll find them. They're in here. Oh, look. Here are my pegs for my coffee mug tree. So everything I need, besides like a 2 by 2 is already in there to make coffee tree mugs. So basically I'm going to make them for free. Which is, you know, free is always great. Look, some old um, wood spools in there. Like seriously, did you ever see anything so great? Um, let's see what else? So many things. Uh, what's this? Oh, these are just some wood letters. Um, I don't know like what letters are even in there necessarily, but there they are. They're not Q and X and Z, so that's good, right? Um, some molding pieces. Don't know what I'll do with those. But there's a few of them. Like you could make some shelves and then have these as the brackets to hold them up, right? Like you could do that. A few of those in there. Um, oh, there was something really cute in here that I took out to send to one of our grands and that is um, a little wooden tooth box. And he's fixing to go into kindergarten, so you know he's going to lose his teeth within the next year or so. So I sent that for him. Um, this is a little cutting board shaped wall hanger thing. Look, it has a hook on it, so you can hang it on your wall and then hang stuff off the hook. It would be nice for a bathroom or a kitchen. I think there's a few of those in there. There are. Here's another differently shaped one. Um, I don't know why, but it kind of looks like a, a slice of bread. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I didn't even see those before, so that's pretty cool. I don't think I emptied all of this. Um, here's some snowflakes, wooden snowflakes. Here are, there's a bunch of wooden eggs in here, which I think are really pretty. Um, I don't know where all this, like, was bought. I, I don't know. It's not Hobby Lobby. It's not Michael's. But most of the stuff is so old that we, the store that it came from might not even be, like, relevant anymore. I come across things at, like, the bins from Benjamin Franklin. And I don't know if y'all ever, like, went to Benjamin Franklin up north or not, but... Um, they used to be a big deal. So this is me just um, looking for my glasses, don't mind me. They're not on my head, I know that. Like I can see myself in my phone. Cause I, I use my camera to record, but I use my phone to control my camera. So I can see myself on camera and I know, oh, there they are. <laughs> How ridiculous I look. But this is like, you would just get used to it if you knew me because I'm always looking for my glasses if they're not on my head. Well, sometimes if they're on my head, I'm looking for my glasses. I mean, you know. You might never get used to that, but, you know. But I will say this, it's contagious, because now I think my husband does it. All right, so don't watch it too often, because then you'll be looking for your glasses, and I won't be there to help you. Okay, 
Um, here's a little birdhouse. Uh, the, there's a bunch of those in there. All right, I'm gonna put these on because I feel like I might help myself if I do that. Um, oh look, these are like molds, only they're wood. So there are little embellishments that you could actually, you know, make with molds if you had the mold. Um, so those are cute. There's just a lot of odds and ends in here that are really useful. And I feel like um, I would definitely, definitely use them. I'm trying to show you the more interesting things. Here's some little treasure boxes. I told you I'm like obsessed with boxes right now. I've been buying them everywhere. Over on my, um, on my work table, I have many, many wood boxes that I've been collecting to upcycle. All these mini wood numbers, like one, two, three, um, you know how we all like to number things right now? I think those are really cute. Um, these are to make dolls, doll heads, but look, they could make like great feet for a, a tray because they're not, they don't have holes in them like your beads do. So I think it'd be great um, for those. Oh, these are, um, I don't know what these are. Like, what do you think? Oh, well look, they could make great little feet, like I said. like They're supposed to be to make Christmas angels, I guess, but that doesn't really appeal to me. So I think I will definitely just use them for feet for, um, trays, you know, risers, we call them. Anyway, so I thought that was pretty neat. Um, so I guess now it's time to give you one more clue about what I found at the bins that I was completely surprised by and totally unexpected. So, I'll give you one more clue. It weighed um, over 16 pounds, and as you know, um, generally at most bins, I think they sell things by the pound. Not every bins. In fact, they didn't always do it that way at the bins I go to. It used to be just, you know, oh yeah, that's a dollar, that's that's two dollars, whatever. There are still plenty of dollar or two items. Um, at my bins so it weighed over 16 pounds which would have made it about ten dollars according to the prices um, 99 cents uh, things are a dollar 99 a pound I think there so 16 times a dollar 99 um, I don't know anyway I, I sort of balked at the price because I didn't know like it was going to work. Like I've never been burned on anything that I had to plug in. So there's another clue. I have to plug it in um, at the bins before, but I didn't want this to be that time because I was I really wanted this particular thing and I wanted it to work. So anyway, here I am just cleaning up after myself. I made a big mess while I was showing you all my stuff from the bins. Cause I don't know about y'all, but our bins is kind of a mess. You bring the dirt home when you go to the bins. Okay, so what I found that I had the previous version of, and what else, what other clue did I give you? It weighed 16 pounds and something else. <laughs> I'll remember when I wash this back. Um, is a Cricut Maker with all of the accessories um, inside like when you open the little drawer up it has all the blades I don't know if it like if they come with um, the different blades that that machine accepts or um, 
not. But anyway, it has this little pull-out drawer, which is new. Um, my Air Explorer doesn't have that. I'm going to move the camera down so y'all can look at it with me. Anyway, um, so here we go. I'm going to turn this around so y'all can really see it. It's heavy. It weighs 16 pounds. Well, let me tell you about the pricing on this. Um, like I said, they sell things by the weight, and normally if it's super heavy, um, they'll just tell you, oh, well, it's $2, whatever. That's how you can buy furniture at the, at the bins for $2 for, you know, anything. <laughs> A couch. But, um, which I can't wait to show you the furniture I bought. I really can't wait to show you. But anyway. We're not talking about this right, that right now. We're talking about this. And, and like, I'm super distracting. I know. Anyway, so it weighed 16 pounds, and that would have made it um, over $10. Yeah, anyway. It would have made it quite a bit. It's, it's, if it's over 5 pounds, it goes down. And if it's over 10 pounds, the price goes down. So, and I don't know by what increment. So, it would not have been $1.99 a pound at that point. But anyway, they wanted to charge me $10.32. And I kind of balked at that because I don't mind, you know, losing a few dollars. But $10, I'm like, eh, no. I don't really want it for $10. So, they gave it to me for $4. And I did point out to them while I was there that it does not, it did not come with a cord. But... I looked at the back and I knew that my cord for my maker would work just fine. So I brought it home, I turned it on, um, plugged it in and turned it on, and it works great. I did a test cut um, just with the um, program, you know, the Cricut Maker program. Anyway, so yeah, it works just great. I can't wait to make my first couple projects. Um, and here are have this little drawer in this one this is pretty handy right here and um, in here are you can see I think there's three blades in there three different housings and blade styles there's a rotary blade um, a deep cut blade and then I don't know what the other one is but I'll figure it out like I'm super excited about this and then here they have something new <clears throat> they have this this magnetized strip and I'm assuming that is to hold your your little tiny like spare blades so I ordered some from Amazon waiting for them to come anyway so I was super excited about getting this if you like what you saw today please like comment share subscribe uh, watching is really going to help me right now. That's what I need more than anything is watch hours. So if you want to just put me on, you know, to the background of your day, just do that. Um, you can turn me down. I don't really care. Um, and, you know, you'll thank me for that. Just turn the volume down. Um, we make a lot of fun things. I, after I post this video, tomorrow I have a video all ready to go about um, an upcycle of something that I should have shown you in my thrift haul. But I couldn't wait to get it done. But you will see the before um, in my in my video. So you'll see. But I did get it from the bins as well. So anyway, I'm signing off. Um, I'll see y'all real soon. Bye-bye.